Hello to all of the 10x fans. So I, I have been asked how should we save our 10x inside Ledger Nano S? And how can we, we save our public and private keys? So to do that, we can use a service called My Ether Wallet. And uh, keep in mind that service is an online website. However, it does not save your private keys. Your private keys are in air gapped and secure inside your Ledger Nano S and uh, they are just using the public key. This is uh, being said and advised by the Ledger Nano company and so it's perfectly safe. So I'm going to have a demo right now. Let's do it. So what you want to do, you want to connect your you want to connect your Ledger Nano S to a USB drive. Put your password so you can get in. Uh, navigate to your Ethereum app and make sure in here you have a settings if you click on the right side you'll have a setting double click press both buttons at the same time to go inside i'm sure everybody knows that and go to a browser support and make that a yes once you have done that get back and go to the website Go to the My Wallet Info and you'll see Ledger Wallet here. If your Ledger is connected to the computer, you'll see this Connect to Ledger Wallet. You will see the different addresses, the public keys that you have been using before. This is the one that I always use. Unlock your wallet and that's it. Now we see that uh, this is our Ledger Nano S wallet being used uh, inside my Ether wallet. So this is your address. Copy and paste this. Go to your uh, Bitrex account. Go to the wallets. And here is a token. Minus means withdraw and plus means deposit. So this is the address. Let's say I want to send 100 pay. This is a tax fee and this amount I will receive. Let's withdraw. Let's use our authentication code, which is constantly changing. So I think it's perfectly safe. <laughs> I will let you know if I get hacked. Confirm. Withdraw is confirming. Pending withdrawals. Here it is. It has been authorized and actually I'm going to keep a time again oh Jesus Christ all right so uh, keeping the time here I think it's not really necessary because these are working like Bitcoin altcoin Ethereum and they're usually taking about the same time. So this being transferred and um, once it has been uh, received in my account, I'm going to notify you. Oh wow, <laughs> I always get surprised by the speed these days. Uh, I think last month it took like 20 minutes and now I just received it, I, three minutes. So I got my pay here. I didn't even need to stop the video so yeah that's it now i have my pay inside this wallet and if i take my ethereum out of the usb and refresh and this page is gone all right uh since it was really fast i thought why don't i send the pay back to my bitrex from my my ether wallet because this is different actually so let's actually hold on let me sign up so i can go step by step okay logged out 
all right so we are here to do this go to send ether and tokens connect your ledger same account that you have your amount inside here it is where is my pay um, show tokens one second I think it is loading I think we have to load the balance okay my pay is here click on it go back change this to pay go to your Bitrex wallet we want to deposit plus copy this address 0x90 remember the first and last so you make sure you don't make any mistake 0x90 send the amount how much do I have uh, 99.45 99.45 and the, the mileage and generate transaction uh, the contract data so uh, I didn't I forgot this let's me okay so in here we have a settings if we go inside setting we will see the contract data this is very dangerous because if the contract data is up they can take your money so I usually off it after I do it once double click to go inside and change this to yes so if everything is okay now we can press generate transaction And once you press that, it will ask you, would you allow this transaction to happen? Press yes. And voila, we have the transaction. Send. Yes, I'm sure. Make transaction. Oh, it turns out I need 0 0.01 ether in my account to transfer <laughs> Jesus Christ okay let's do this so I have to send ethereum back to my account 0 0.01 so let's buy ethereum I'm happy that I'm doing this with you guys so you can also see okay guys send let's send the ethereum back to my my ether wallet so we can transfer the pay token so they say we need a uh, 0 0.01 right uh, let's buy um, 0 0.03 and with the last price last price is this let's do nine so it will go immediately and let's buy okay this amount <laughs> that was fast so i have this amount let's go back to my wallet uh let's withdraw this amount to my ether wallet we can actually check the ether time too let's do max withdraw where is my security code uh, let's again for the sake of fun and tradition let's keep the time so last time it was really fast for uh, for 10x it took like three minutes I think it should be the same because they're based on the same technology so it shows that um, my ethereum is pending and let's wait it has been four minutes let's see when it will get clear oh it got cleared from bitrex to here let's refresh this page oh here we have it so now let's do what we were trying to do 
let's go to our send and receive tokens from here let's go to our pay deposit and let's go here let's go back to show tokens load balances let's go to our pay click on here we have the pay here Jesus Christ how much did I have 99.45 99.45 generate transaction again uh, we will be asked um, do you let this website to take the money and send it to that address? Confirm transaction, yes. And send transaction, I'm sure, x90, yes. Your TX has been broadcasted to the network. It is waiting to be mined and confirmed. During ICOs, it will take three hours to confirm. This is not an ICO. It took uh, about five minutes for Ethereum to come to my account. Let's try it again for uh, pay to go back from my Ether wallet to uh, Bitrix. So in here, we have pending deposits. If you refresh, nothing pending yet. so it should take few minutes more to be received in my Bitrix wallet as you see there is no hustle do this few times and when I start doing this I was really worried that I'm going to I always have this idea like oh like am I gonna lose the money like will I receive the money in my account or no and don't worry about it it's you will always receive the amount these numbers are very long and these are your address so you have a more chance to win a lottery than sending the money to a wrong address okay I just got it to pending I've been four minutes almost four minutes it is pending waiting to be confirmed zero out of 36 let's wait it wait for it to be confirmed so it works like Bitcoin what they do um, they have a set of um, ledgers out there in different networks and every miner should confirm this saying that this is a verified transaction so think of it what if there are bad miners and those people are trying to double double they call it double spending devil spend their money like let's say one person has one Bitcoin and at the same time, same exact time, he will buy two things from different sellers using the same Bitcoin he has. He forged, because this, these are just data, digital data. He will forge the same transaction for both different people and they will spend his amount. So what they do, um, if they have his own mining, mining computer, he can actually say, yes, this has been verified. That's one computer. So that's why they wait for more miners to confirm this. If this not, if the forger was lying and were trying to cheat, other miners will will stop this transaction or say it was unverified and drop this from the ledger. Now the problem is that what if there are more bad miners than good miners? Can they overtake good miners? Yes, but that's never going to happen because. There are more good companies out there than bad companies and they have a massive power like their mining companies John McAfee, Genesis Minings, Bitrix, Bitfinex they have a massive massive companies like a university that they mining night and day so for one person or for one team to overpower the whole world is quite impossible. It just been cleared I was clicking this button 100 times 19 minutes 20 seconds so receiving as i said uh, it took about uh, four minutes to be pending here and this process took about 15 minutes thank you guys i hope that this video was helpful 
thank you for the subscription and I will try to make good videos for you in the future. Thank you so much and see you again.